Pluto, the tiny world we once wrote off as a frozen rock, is hiding a climate system stranger than Earth's. Not storms or seasons like we know them, but an alien kind of weather, driven by a haze so thin it's almost invisible, yet powerful enough to control the planet's temperature. The James Webb Space Telescope has just revealed a side of Pluto we've never seen before. It's not dead. It's not silent. It's alive in ways scientists are only beginning to understand. Stay with me, because this discovery could change the way we think about life, not just here, but across the solar system. The Pluto we thought we knew. For decades, Pluto lived in our imagination as a lonely ice ball, distant, dim, and almost forgotten at the edge of our solar system, a place so cold it could barely hold on to the thinnest breath of atmosphere. Then came NASA's New Horizons flyby in 2015. In a single dramatic pass, we saw mountains of ice, frozen plains, and a faint bluish haze around the planet. The pictures were stunning, but they were just that, pictures, a single frozen moment in time. No one knew if Pluto was changing or if it had always looked exactly like that. That's why the James Webb Space Telescope was a game changer. With its powerful infrared eyes, Webb wasn't limited to snapshots. It could watch Pluto over time, see the invisible heat signatures, and uncover what was happening beneath that icy mask. And what it found was nothing short of shocking. The haze nobody expected. When the James Webb Space Telescope turned its gaze toward Pluto, scientists expected to confirm the thin atmosphere New Horizons hinted at. What they didn't expect was how complex it would be. Webb's instruments picked up a delicate, almost ghostly veil made of nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide. It's so thin you could barely call it an atmosphere, yet it plays a massive role in Pluto's climate. Instead of simply letting sunlight pass through, this haze absorbs incoming energy, then re-emits it as infrared radiation, effectively cooling the surface and keeping Pluto's temperature stable in a way we've never seen on another world. This isn't just another planetary quirk. It's the first confirmed example of such a climate-regulating haze anywhere in the solar system. The finding validates a 2017 hypothesis, which suggested Pluto's hazy sky might work like an alien-scale air conditioner. Back then, it was an elegant theory. Now, it's observable fact, confirmed by the most powerful space telescope we've ever built, a dance with Karen. Pluto doesn't exist in isolation. It's locked in a gravitational waltz with its largest moon, Charon. The two are so close in size that they orbit a common point in space, almost like a binary planet system. But the connection runs deeper than gravity. Seasonal changes on Pluto cause volatile ices, mostly nitrogen and methane, to slowly migrate across its surface. As sunlight shifts over Pluto's long seasons, these ices sublimate into gas in warmer regions and refreeze in cooler ones. This movement isn't just surface level. Some of Pluto's thin atmosphere actually leaks outward into space and drifts toward Charon. When it reaches the moon, these molecules can settle as frosty deposits, especially near Charon's poles. Over decades and centuries, this process could help explain the dark red polar caps spotted by New Horizons, possibly formed by Pluto's escaping gases reacting under Charon's ultraviolet sunlight. It's a quiet but constant exchange, a cosmic tether unlike anything else we've observed in the solar system. Together, Pluto and Charon aren't just partners in orbit, they're part of a shared climate system, trading material in a delicate, ongoing dance. Pluto's living climate machine. Pluto's haze starts with a simple process. Methane in its thin atmosphere gets broken apart by sunlight, even the weak rays that reach its distant orbit. This breakdown creates complex hydrocarbons, which clump together into fine particles. Over time, these particles drift downward, forming a faint but continuous haze around the planet. Once the haze settles on Pluto's surface, it doesn't just sit there, it changes the landscape's reflectivity. Fresh ice is bright and bounces sunlight back into space, but haze coated ice is darker and absorbs more heat. This extra warmth can slightly shift surface temperatures, which in turn changes how much gas escapes into the atmosphere. That's where the feedback loop kicks in. More heat means more methane release. More methane means more haze production. More haze darkens the ice further. The cycle keeps going. It's not unlike Earth's cloud systems, which regulate our climate by trapping or reflecting heat, but Pluto's version runs in extreme cold and under a fraction of Earth's sunlight. Despite these harsh conditions, it's a climate engine that never truly shuts down, making Pluto a surprisingly dynamic world for something so far from the sun. Hidden heat beneath the ice. James Webb's infrared data isn't just telling us about Pluto's atmosphere. It's hinting at something far more intriguing beneath its frozen crust. Subtle thermal signatures suggest the possibility of cryovolcanism, where instead of molten rock, Pluto may be venting mixtures of water and ammonia from deep underground. 
these cryovolcanic flows could resurface parts of the planet, leaving behind the smoother, less cratered regions scientists have spotted in images. This matters because ammonia acts like an antifreeze. Its presence would lower the freezing point of water, making it possible for a liquid subsurface ocean to survive for billions of years, even so far from the sun. If that's true, Pluto joins the short list of worlds, like Europa and Enceladus, where oceans exist in total darkness, sealed beneath an icy shell. Why is that exciting? On Earth, life thrives in places without sunlight, such as deep-sea hydrothermal vents, drawing energy from chemical reactions instead. If similar chemistry exists in Pluto's hidden waters, it's not impossible that simple life could have found a foothold there long ago. What we once thought of as a frozen dead rock could, in reality, be a quiet, distant habitat. Microclimates on a dwarf planet. Pluto might be small, but it has a surprisingly complex surface. From orbit, you can see it's not just white and icy. There are patches of brilliant nitrogen frost right next to areas stained deep brown by tholins, complex organic molecules formed by sunlight hitting methane. These contrasts do more than give Pluto its mottled look. They create microclimates. Bright ices reflect more sunlight, keeping those regions colder, while dark, tholin-rich areas absorb heat and warm up slightly. That difference in temperature changes how Pluto's thin atmosphere behaves locally. In colder zones, nitrogen and methane tend to condense and freeze out, while in slightly warmer areas, they're more likely to sublimate back into gas. This constant, slow exchange could set up small-scale circulation cells in the atmosphere. Wind that shuffle hazes and volatiles around on a regional level. The result is a patchwork climate system where each region's color and texture subtly influence the movement of ices, gases, and haze particles above it. For a world only about 1,500 miles across, Pluto manages to run a weather system that's surprisingly nuanced. It's one more sign that even in the deep freeze at the edge of our solar system, the rules of planetary climate are still in play. Pluto may be tiny and remote, but it's turning out to be one of the best best natural laboratories for understanding worlds we've never visited, especially the hazy, cold ones that orbit far from their stars. The way Pluto's thin atmosphere forms, circulates, and interacts with its surface, ICE gives scientists a real-world test case for how similar processes might work elsewhere. These lessons extend to other bodies in our own solar system, like Neptune's moon Triton or Saturn's moon Titan. Both have exotic atmospheres and active surface chemistry, but are difficult to study directly. Pluto shows that even a distant, frigid world can maintain dynamic climate systems, and that haze can play a huge role in regulating surface temperatures. For planets outside our solar system, especially those around dim red dwarf stars, the same principles may apply. A hazy atmosphere can mask a planet's surface, alter its climate, and even help preserve potential habitability under otherwise extreme conditions. And thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we don't need to send probes to start unraveling these mysteries. Its infrared instruments can read the chemical fingerprints of atmospheres light years away. By decoding Pluto's climate here at home, astronomers are sharpening the tools they'll use to understand alien worlds we may never physically reach. A new era for outer solar system exploration. Pluto's transformation in the public eye is remarkable. Not long ago, it was treated as a frozen relic, an inert rock drifting at the edge of the sun's influence. But with each new observation, we're seeing a dynamic, interconnected world that challenges that outdated image. The discovery of its active climate, atmospheric haze, and possible cryovolcanism means Pluto is part of a living system, not a dead one. And that has bigger implications. If Pluto can sustain this kind of complexity, then other Kuiper Belt objects, worlds like Eris, Makemake, or Haumea, might also host active weather patterns, volatile migration, or even subsurface oceans. We've barely scratched the surface of this distant region, and the rules for what we expect to find there are changing fast. These revelations could directly influence which mission space agencies choose to fund next. Instead of only targeting giant planets and their moons, there's a growing case for dedicated probes to smaller, more remote bodies. Each could reveal a unique expression of climate, geology, and chemistry. Pluto's story is turning into a roadmap, one that tells us the outer solar system is far from silent and that the next great planetary discoveries may come from the worlds we once overlooked.
Pluto has gone from being the solar system's forgotten outpost to one of its most intriguing storytellers. In just the past few years, we've learned it's not a static ball of ice. It's a world with a delicate haze, a shifting climate, and a strange, ongoing relationship with its moon, Charon. These discoveries show that even the smallest planets can be complex, active, and full of surprises. The message is simple. Never underestimate a world just because it's small or far away. If Pluto can host such intricate systems at the edge of our our sun's reach, it changes the way we think about what's possible elsewhere. And here's the thought to leave you with. If this is what we're finding on the edge of our own solar system, what might be waiting out there on the edge of someone else's?